Sorry, Louis, if this is bad review, <laughs> I'm sorry, but because they just taste different. They smell different. Like just lighting them up, they smell different. Like, oh, I got to put every design element to it. So I was like, oh, pigtail. Okay, sure. Shaggy foot. Okay, sure. Oh, yeah. oh that smells good. What are you making? I'm like, I'm not going to tell you. Sorry. Come back in an hour. Uh, the second band, again. This was the original, it says Limitada on it, and then... Cue the intro. Okay. Let's go. Every single day Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Now, today we'll review something old, okay? This is from Casa Cueva, or as the Legion will call it, Casa Cueva! Um, limited edition Lama Daria. Uh, it's a Habano cigar. And I think that this packaging is actually one of the OG packaging because. Um, Right now, if you buy them, they, they have a hammer on top of it instead of saying Edition Limitada. This came out after um, after the cigar robbery at the Casa Cueva's store warehouse uh, back in 2019. And um, they decided to call it Sledgehammer. So, one of the original cigar. And funnily, the way it is right now is this is the only Casa Cueva cigar that I don't buy a lot of. <laughs> like, I, I think I literally bought like three sticks total um, because I'm afraid of the strength and I, I don't think that I would personally enjoy it as much based on the strength. So I always mentally think that, okay, I can't, I can't have a lot of these. But since I have one available, let's do a review. And I promise you, I'll give a fair review even though Casa Cueva is very big. Uh, part of Shadow Smoke's Legion, so you know. Sorry, Louis, if this is bad review, <laughs> I'm sorry. But <clears throat> uh, let's get some information here. This thing is about twelve dollars uh, when it was released, uh, six by fifty-two. And uh, let's see, the wrapper is Ecuadorian Habano, binder is uh, Dominican, and filler is Nicaraguan and Dominican Republic. So. Cut in light. Take a good look at the cigar. Yeah, so th the second band with its addition limitada, that right now is replaced by a band that looks like cross of a sledgehammer. Here is a pig foot, I mean pigtail. Shaggy foot. You know, this this cigar's got like everything to it. Like, it's like, oh, I gotta put every design element to it so i was like oh pigtail okay sure shaggy foot okay sure dry draw is chili pepper baking spice chili pepper and baking spice but that chili pepper tastes I don't know, would, it, would you call that paprika? I think that's considered paprika because it's not spicy. So paprika and baking spice. Yep. All right, the draw is great. So I'm gonna start lighting it up if I can find my lighter, of course. Get a good burn on all sides so it doesn't.
I want to touch out the middle just a little bit more. I don't think it's totally burned for some reason. It's red, it's burned, but it's not burned. I don't know why. Okay. It's a little bit of woodiness, a little bit of leatheriness, kind of. But it's mostly of that cedar. It has a little bit of that, what do you call it? Yeast or bread kind of flavor to it. Yeast or bread. Ready, a little bit of, I don't know. It tastes like a mixture of baker's spice. Some mixture of spice mixed together with a little bit of pepper. Uh, I don't know. Is is the funny part is it's burning through that little bit open foot, and it's trying to get to the wrapper, so it's getting spicier as it goes, but it's 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 a little bit confused of that flavor because it's transitioning. It got sweeter a little bit. Tastes like some sort of sugar with it too. Spice, uh, a little bit of pepper. There is a little bit of heat to it. And some sort of note try to develop. You can, it's like something's there, but it's not really giving you a flavor. Woodsy for sure, see so cedar. Yeah, it's developing. And I just want to say something too. Like, you know, um, I recently I've seen a few new YouTubers, or I don't know how long they've been on, uh, making shorts. <clears throat> and one of the things that I saw was controversial was this guy tried to blind smoke a Podomo and a Hoyo Cuban. Now, I personally love Hoyo Cuban. Alright, so. So I think he was smoking something on the line, at the line of something like this, okay? So, and then he wasn't be able to tell. He In the end, he said, like, he was saying that the the Podomo was a Cuban one. Like, oh, th this one is a Cuban. And to open it up, it's Podomo's Cuban. Honestly, if you smoke Cuban and real Cuban I'm talking about, Cuban has this really distinct earthiness, the wood tone is very different than any New World Cigar, okay? And, and I don't think you can ever make that mistake and certainly not to do that to, to, to confuse people. Cuban Cigars, Cuban Cigar, New World Cigar, New World Cigar, they don't taste the same and they will never get that close, all right? You can always be able to tell uh, blindfolded a Cuban Cigar versus um, a new world cigar. I, I believe 100% of the time. Because they just taste different. They smell different. Like just lighting them up, they smell different. And I think a lot of people who smoke a lot of Cuban cigar will tell you, you can smell a Cuban cigar. Like on the light up, you can tell that's a Cuban cigar. And everything else, they might smell different, but it's not gonna smell like a Cuban cigar because one thing I like about Cuban cigars is that smell. Like if you smoke a Cuban cigar, your whole place will smell nice. Like that cigar smell is actually pleasant. And the New World cigar, not always, okay? So 
I will say a lot of time take those information with grain of salt, including my information, right? Take it with a grain of salt um, and, and don't really fall for that because like obviously he's trying to tell you to go try a Perdomo cigar. And why? You know, there's so many other good cigars that are out there. If you want to taste something like Cuban cigar, go get a Cuban cigar. If you want something that tastes like a Perdomo, go get a Perdomo, right? But don't think that I can get a Perdomo cigar and that's going to replace a Cuban cigar. It's not going to happen. Right? That's like saying that I'll eat Chinese food and it's got to replace, I don't know, Mexican food. It doesn't, it's not the same stuff. It's all, it's both food, but it's not the same. Oh, what is that? It tastes kind of masked of a flavor, but I can't tell what it is. It's getting sweeter from initial light up. But it's kind of start to be a little bit muted. You know, the flavor is there. But it's muted. I'm not sure what's going on with it. It light up okay. Ash is okay. But it tastes a little bit muted. On the retro hill, you get a lot of leather. And almost close to a I don't know some sort of bitter sugar or burnt sugar or something like that there's a lot of leather in this yeah let me smoke through one third somewhere here and then we'll talk about the cigar be right back okay we're back after one third I was playing with the ash so <clears throat> A lot of pepper. The pepper, if you retro here enough, don't try to do it all you want because it will burn your nose, okay? Uh, the flavor right now is uh, a woodsy mixture of baking spice. You know, it's almost close to a dessert kind of thing because it's a little bit sweet. But I don't know what I was waiting for. I, was, I, I, I thought I was waiting for a savory taste, but it's just a really complex... Um, Baking spice, um, almost like tastes like someone is mixing some stuff, trying to bake. <sighs> Not a sweet cake, but something salty, but it's sweet. It's it's hard to describe because it also got pepper in it, and that pepper throws me off because that sweetness comes after the pepper, and it's got this. Pepper and saltiness in, but there's very little saltiness, just enough to flavor, and then the sweet woodsy almondy ish, almost to a point that's cherry sweetness. Mix them together, you get this. So it's actually a very interesting cigar. It's just weird. I like like it tastes good. But it feels like some other flavor is gonna come up, but it's not here. I don't know if that that you know it's like like before somebody finished baking, they put everything together. Oh, yeah. oh that smells good. What are you making? And they're like, not gonna tell you. Sorry. Come back in an hour. And they go, ah, you know, that kind of thing going on after the first third. So I think it's nice. I think it's good. It's about medium medium plus strength right now. I'm smoking it very slowly because I'm afraid that I'm gonna get sick. Because in my mind, the name like Slatchhammer just made me think it's gonna be very strong cigar. It's probably not, but you know that suggestion of the name sometimes gets you right. So I'm gonna continue to smoke to the you know smoke the second third, get the bend off. 
and we'll see if that flavor continues to develop because right now it's it's pretty good. Um, first stir, it's up to the ten dollar point for sure. Um, but we'll see if it gets to the twelve dollar point, which I don't think is gonna be very hard. I'm not gonna count count the box into this because the box is just basic wooden box. So like there was nothing that I would say. Hey, it adds a lot of value to the presentation to this, but. You know, the cigar itself, it's not a crazy expensive cigar, $12. So we'll see if we get there. I think you'll get there, but we'll see. Be right back. Okay, we are back. Now, I'm kind of glad because I was kind of afraid. Like, oh, shit. Why if the cigar is bad? I really had to say this is bad, but it was actually not, not bad. It's not bad. Again, baking spice, kind of sweet at the end. Uh, It's good cigar, but in a confusing way because it's like, it tastes good, but like, what is gonna come out of it? You know, you just keep thinking that something's gonna come out with it. Some sort of more sharp taste is gonna come out with it. But overall, it's just like a medium tone uh, flavor mixture. Right, flavor mixture uh, with a lot of pepper. So if you like pepper, then yeah, this is for you. Uh, for me, I turns out to Retro Hill a lot less because of that pepper. And I think from that, I probably get less of the flavor because I don't want to burn my nose to, to, you know, nothingness. So going back to the band, uh, the second band, again, this was the original, it says Limitada on it and then replaced it with, um, a hammer. I'll probably put a picture somewhere here with that hammer. And right now I'm the last third, the strains probably medium plus didn't pass the medium plus area. So uh in turn of does this have enough flavor i wish there was more i, I wish there was more and i would have said this is a 15 dollars cigar or 17 dollars cigar but right now because that always making me waiting for something i would say it justifies a 12 dollar cigar it's not it's not far apart from that 12 dollar range it's just that I wish there was a little bit more, right? I will pay $18 for it if there was a little bit more. And I wish there was a little bit more. So let me continue to smoke it. You know what? Since I have this down already, that's the band. You know, this is their older band with four star on it. And I think they'll continue to use that. Uh, even though now they use the five star band with uh, Alec Grava on it now. But, you know, this was before Alec Grava joined. <clears throat> the business so I only have four stops so yeah let me smoke through blaster come back to uh summary so finished up the cigar yeah um it never came to that full taste that I was expecting but there is taste it's just that I think there's more strength than the taste so twelve dollar okay all right it's, it's there uh, I wish there was a little bit more so that, you know, this could be a $15 cigar or $18 cigar even, but $12. Okay. Even 13, maybe, but I, I didn't really like the strength. I do like the cigar and I wish the, 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 the taste is more sharper. Uh, for those people who, who, who actually taste the cigar can probably tell me, uh, if that's, um, I don't think it's underaged because this obviously with this band, it's been sitting for a while. So, you know, if anybody else tastes more flavor, let me know. I mean, I tried to drink it with tea, with coffee. It didn't improve that taste. The taste is there. It's just not sharp enough for my expectation. You know, I was thinking that sledgehammer should be boom, but the sledgehammer, I think, is the strength and the pepper. Those two things make it a sledgehammer. So not not that it was named Sledgehammer for that reason it was uh, named because of the incident, but I feel like if it's got a name Sledgehammer, uh, the flavor could be stronger because in comparison to the other cigars that Casa Cueva came up with, I actually think this uh, taste is on the mellow side. The the taste is on the mellow side. It's complex. It's weird. It's different, but it's not sharp enough for my liking for this particular strength. So twelve dollar okay. Uh, I do have highly uh, suggest people to try this cigar and, and let me know what your experience for this cigar is because do you also feel like the flavor left something to be desired or you feel like the flavor is just perfect for you? I would like to know. So leave a comment below if you like the review. Leave a like, you know, subscribe. If you don't, 
Well, it's probably because I am not handsome enough. But anyways, so I'll see you guys in the next uh, review. And uh, that's it for this review. And